welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a very green, vampy, dark, smoky eye. I think this is perfect for fall. It's perfect for winter. So if you are excited to see this makeup tutorial, then just keep on watching. What? <laughs> See, that looks so good. <laughs> Thank you. How'd you do that? It took me like three hours. Chris Brown. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Is this even real life right now? Is this even real life? Hi. Is this even real life? Oh my god. Oh my god! To create this look, I'm using the Jaclyn Hill in Morphe palette. To start off with the transition shade, I'm going to be going in with the Morphe M511. It's a big fluffy brush, it's... and I used this shade right here. And I'm just really working this in my crease, a little above it. So you see how like my crease is right here where it divots in? I go a little above just so I can create a very big lid and I can like really look smoky. That's why I always go like a little above my crease. Pretty much the main star of the show is this green right here. So this is a very deep, foresty green, and it pretty much just used it all over my eye, and then I created a halo effect with a little bit of glitter. So I'm going to be going in with this green next. I'm using the Morphe E17. It's a little domed, but it's not like really big where you like can't control the shadow. So I'm going to start by working it in from my outer corner and then dragging it up a little bit just below that orange shade we added. You don't want to go in with like a lot of product on your brush to begin with because then it makes it a lot harder to blend out which I kind of messed up on this side just a little bit. I kind of took it too low right here but what are you going to do? Everyone makes mistakes. Then I'm also going to bring this in my inner corner just because we're creating a halo effect. So we're going to leave the center bare as much as we can. <laughs> and then I'm just going to keep adding more of this green color just to really build it up and make it look really, really deep. And then I'm taking a clean brush, this is the E27, and just blending these two edges together. This has no um, eyeshadow on it at all. Okay, so that green is all blended out. Now I'm going to go in with this black right here. I'm going to use a really tiny pencil brush like this. This is the Morphe E36. And I'm going to take like the tiniest amount of this and add it just in the very outer corners just to add a little bit of dimension. You want to go in with a really light hand with this black because it could pretty much just take away from the green if you add too much at once. So first I'm going to go in with this green shimmer right here. I used the Morphe M210. It's a very flat shader brush. So I go into that sparkly green. This color is literally gorgeous. It doesn't show up much against the dark green there's not like much of a difference but so that's why I added the silver glitter on top of it but this kind of just like creates a base And then for the glitter today, I'm using the NYX Liquid Crystal Liner. This is a liner, so it's going to take a little longer for it to dry down on your lid. So I would just be patient. Keep your eye closed as it's drying down. So I literally just applied this in the center. And this just honestly like adds a little something extra to the look. Makes it pop a little more. Thank you. 
And then I definitely recommend just keeping your eyes closed and just really waiting for it to dry down. Honestly, I usually take a blow dryer and just blow dry my eye just so it's faster. <laughs> So now that the um, glitter liner is dry, we're going to work on the lower waterline. I'm going to take this Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush, and I'm just going to dip into that orange once again. Orange, nude, I don't really know what color this is. It's more of an orange to me. And then I'm just going to really work this underneath my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in with that deep green that we used all over the eye. And I'm going to use a very small pencil brush. This is the E36. I'm just going to work this really close to that lash line. And then I'm going in with a black eyeliner. This is from Maybelline. This is just like a regular black gel liner. And I'm going to add this on my lower waterline as well just to deepen it up just that much more. So now the eye is pretty much complete. I am going to add a little bit of highlight in my inner corner. And this is the Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter. It is so beaming, girl. So I'm going to take a little bit of this and just add it right in this inner corner. And now I'm going to go apply false lashes and add mascara and then the look will be complete. We'll be right back. And this is what the eyes should look like. So this is a very like deep, vampy, green halo eye with a, just a little bit of glitter in the middle. Don't mind my glue, it's still drying, okay? This look is really out of my comfort zone, which I'm really trying to do that lately, especially with eye looks. I know I haven't put a ton out on my channel, so I am trying to incorporate more dramatic looks like this, so I hope you guys are enjoying them. If you guys do create this look, definitely tag me. I love seeing your guys' work. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell button. And let me know down below what you guys liked most about this tutorial. The glitter, the green, just me stepping out of my comfort zone. I just love to hear what you guys have to say about my tutorials. So definitely don't forget to do that. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.